Hey guys, what is up everybody and welcome to a new video. In today's video we're gonna talk to you about ACMA uh, convention which happened in uh, Milan last week and uh, I traveled there because it's been for a long time on my list to go there and see new bikes, new technologies and uh, considering that um, this convention was not there for the last couple of years because like global pandemic and all the stuff so this is the first year when they organize this uh, event and I wanted to go I wanted to see like you know what's happened what what kind of new motorcycles we're gonna see there and what new technologies in the market and what in general are the trends which we have to keep in mind for our future so I went there and um, I spent a day talking to people walking around seeing new motorcycles and um, I would say I like the trend that uh, there are so many electric motorcycles being presented. I thought there, there will be few companies or even like few motorcycles which will be presented but then you go there you see zero motorcycles, you see uh, Energica motorcycles, you see Da Vinci motorcycles and I was fascinated by the way how fast this transition is happening from uh, gasoline motorcycles or gasoline combustion engines to electric and uh, the most important is that some of the motorcycles now is able to uh, go for quite long range you can go 250 kilometers on one uh, charge which is not bad I would say we are only in the beginning with the development of technology this result will be also getting better and better I was probably surprised the most by Ducati Desert X because I think that this motorcycle is phenomenal and I really like it and I like the way how you sit on it, I like the way how it looks, I like the way I mean the quality build is also good about this motorcycle and when you there as a stand you will see that there are so many people we wishing to try this motorcycle so it's like long line just you know to try this motorcycle same happened with this Honda because Honda just few days before the ACMA Honda presented Transalp for 2023 and this model is actually right in time it is really good motorcycle for Honda lineup Africa Twin is kind of on expensive side and uh, it's heavy and uh, big motorcycle where Transalp is like super versatile, lightweight and probably it's gonna be as much reliable as Africa Twin. Yamaha, Yamaha presented new Tracer 7 would say updated Tracer 7. They also presented Tracer 9 GT Plus. I like these screens. It's big. It's informative. I would say that probably it's going to be really, really comfortable to ride motorcycle and have this screen in front of you. Same time, there are new colors for Tracer 9 GT for 2023. Pure white and uh, midnight black, I think it's called. And Yamaha in general quite popular in Europe among all Japanese manufacturers. Uh, Yamaha is by far the best selling motorcycle in Europe. Then we also have Suzuki. Suzuki introduced V-Strom and a couple of more models and uh, they have new platform which is uh, 800cc. To be honest, I, I just didn't know if I like it or not. I definitely understand why they needed update uh, V-Strom. The bike itself not bad and uh, I like infotainment system on this bike as well. Digital TFT uh, display which is uh, basically looks really really good. Speaking of Kawasaki, I would say that eh, nothing special there. I would say only that I like their concept of green energy and possibility to use hydrogen engines in the future and also the way how they look into the hybrid systems for motorcycle but I would say that their current lineup is not that much attractive and what they're trying for the future I don't know why you need to go for a hydrogen when you, everyone is goes electric and then speaking of electric there were companies such as uh, uh, Zero, Energica and Da Vinci and they all show their new motorcycles which are really nice 
looking motorcycles, I like the materials, I like the build quality, I like the concept in general, and I like that some of the motorcycle is able now to perform, like the, their range can be up to 250 kilometers on one single charge, which is really, really good. I mean, this is the future, that's where we're going, and um, more and more motorcycles are become electric, and uh, all of them present motorcycles, maxi scooters and scooters, for different purposes which will allow you to commute in the city or go to travel and uh, you're now able to do that because I remember times when we were talking about 100 kilometers on one single charge and today today it's already up to 250 it's getting there it's getting better it's uh, much much better triumph Triumph was busy as usual BMW is not there at all this year it was really interesting to see how many electric motorcycles are there. Uh, same time, I really like that there are new models this year we presented. Previous couple of years, they were, I would say, calm. And uh, all those new bikes which came this year, they kind of given you this uh, uh, sense of new developments, new models being presented, like something new is in the market. This is pretty much uh, it from what I saw on ECMA. In general, really like this event. If you have a chance to visit, maybe next year, maybe year after, definitely do that. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any, any questions, any comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to read, I will be happy to answer. And um, see you in the next one. Cheers.